So this is your you know, second year here in Jacksonville. You said that you're a lot more comfortable in the meeting rooms, in the locker room, and on the field, but why do you feel that way? Um, I mean, just getting to know everyone. Um, the system has is, is changed a little bit, but I've been in the system now two years now. Uh, very comfortable uh, with, it all, with it all, knowing what I'm doing, not just what I'm doing, but safety is doing as well. Uh, just being on the same page with everything. And uh, you also said that you feel like expectations for yourself have really changed this season. Uh, why do you think that is? Because um, I know what I can do. Uh, last year was my first year really starting and being a full-time starter. Uh, I, I did really well, actually, uh, with my numbers. Uh, but there's still areas I, need to, I can improve in. Uh, and I'm excited to get better this year. Okay. And also, you said that Tayshawn Gibson was reading your blog. You said that he's the general of the secondary. So how does he make your job so much easier? Uh, just the way he can uh, cover ground back there. <clears throat> As a free safety, there's only one other free safety I've ever seen like him, and that was Nick Collins. And Nick Collins got hurt uh, my first year there, but that, that guy was special back there the couple of weeks I was there with him. Um, and the way Gibb can, can cover um, from sideline to sideline, from numbers to number, is, is special. Not too many safety out there can do it, uh, the, how good he does it. So we most definitely got to still with picking him up. Uh, will make my job a little bit easier. And uh, you also said on your blog that you feel like the Jaguars defense can be a top 10 or maybe even a top 5 defense. So what is it going to take for you guys to actually reach that level? Um, I, I think it's going to start in the back end. Uh, we stop the pass. Uh, we're going to stop the run for sure. We're eight man, or eight man uh, front team. Mm -hmm. All we got to do is stop the pass. Uh, last year we wasn't, wasn't the greatest year in the, pass, in the passing game. But uh, with the new pieces we got in, Jalen, Prince, uh, Gibson, um, and, and what we had from last year, built off of that, uh, I mean, the sky's the limit. And on Sunday, week one, but it's also you going against your former team. Is there any kind of anything in your mind where you kind of want to prove them that they were wrong for not trying to bring you back? Uh, not really prove them. I, don't, I feel like I don't have nothing to prove to anyone. I'm excited to show them uh, how much better I've gotten since my time in Green Bay. I mean, Green Bay, I think I had over like maybe like 500 snaps on defense total, which isn't much at all. Um, and last year I doubled it. And, uh, and my stats double in every category, pass breakups and picks. Um, so just excited to show them uh, how much better I've gotten um, as a player. Now against Green Bay, you got a chance to go against Jordy Nelson every day. And here you get to go against A-Rob every day. What is it that makes both of those receivers so dynamic? Uh, I mean, they're, they're both big and they can run. Usually with bigger guys, they're slower. But these guys are big and run and can catch uh, really any ball that's thrown to them. And also over this off season, you got a kind of early surprise with the birth of your twin. So what's the best part about being a dad? Uh, man, the best part about being a dad is probably uh, my son jumping on my back and uh, holding the two twins at the same time. So I uh, mean, it's, it's all love, uh, how much they, they need me and to depend on me for right now uh, until they get older. It's a sad day when that happens. But uh, I mean, I, j I just love it. So is that just kind of, you know, what kind of brightens up your day when you leave, leave the facility here and then you go home and oh, yeah, you got most, three boys? Most definitely. When I, when I get home, I'm not, I'm not a football player at all. I'm just dad. Uh, dad here to help, uh, help my son read his books and help him, you know, play basketball in his little basketball court, uh, things like that. And also, uh, how do yourself and the rest of the locker room kind of talk amongst yourselves about kind of everything that's kind of going on in society these days and also in the NFL as well? Yeah, we, uh, I mean, so there's a lot of debating going on in the locker room, uh, but it's all good debates. I mean, everyone has their own opinions uh, about what's going on, but at the end of the day, we, we all come to a common ground and respect uh, each other's opinions.